The city of Hamilton's encampment approach was the main topic of discussion at today's General Issues Committee meeting. Anastasia Anoche joins us live from City Hall with more. Anastasia. Eight delegates came to the city, the city hall today to speak about their concerns when it comes to the city's approach to encampments. Folks are um, getting frostbite. Um, there's been two people that I know in the last couple weeks who have gotten amputations. I've had two people uh, collapse just from sleep deprivation because you can't sleep in uh, the warming centers. Jo Aitchison is a volunteer at the Hamilton Encampment Support Network. She's seen the struggles the unhoused population face every day. She was also one of the delegates who spoke at today's general issue committee meeting. Council, when I speak to item 10.18, uh, I want you to know that it concerns my friends, my neighbors, and my community. The item includes making the city's encampment response pilot permanent. It would call for housing experts, a park supervisor, two bylaw officers, and two Hamilton police officers. Investing in um, managers of, of housing um, and then in investing in more policing, more surveillance, more uh, enforcement uh, is, is not the way to go at all. Um, this is not a response to the housing crisis. This is a response to encampments. If there is genuine care about the health and well-being of our unhoused neighbors, continuing and heightening this response is not the answer. As a taxpayer, I do not want more policing. I want more solutions. Delegates say more housing is one of those solutions. We have an approximate housing wait time in the city of three to nine years. Adding more housing workers and managers will not change that wait time for people. The private market motivated by profit is deeply incentivized against housing poor people and these units are often too costly for those with low incomes. And while the city has been working to make a solution to this issue, Aitchison says they need to be speaking with unhoused folks as well. People who are part of HamSmart, Keeping Six, other organizations that work directly with unhoused individuals are suggesting is that we actually sit down at the table with unhoused individuals and ask them what would be best. The city's report also includes eight guidelines, including the prohibition of forced evictions. Back to you, Tab.